Hi, and welcome to Katie Play Stuff. Today, I'm going to be possibly starting a playthrough of a certain game. And I know that I normally play horror games, and that's what I want to keep doing. Um, but I've always, always, since I was like six years old, have wanted to do... Okay, maybe not six. But I've always wanted to do a walkthrough slash playthrough of Majora's Mask. And I just didn't have the equipment, and I still don't have the equipment. But that's not going to stop me. Because it is my favorite game of all time of any game in the world. Um, Zelda is my favorite series of games. I'm, like, obsessed with Zelda. Uh, I even have a doll on my bed. Um, <laughs> but... I would love to do a playthrough of Majora's Mask. I, I've played it so many times that I could do a walkthrough if I wanted to, but I don't know exactly where every single heart piece is. I don't know every little secret about the game. I know most of it. I know the story. I know a, like pretty much all of the side quests, but um, I just I don't know enough to do a walkthrough. So... Let's just reminisce and play some Majora's Mask together, and it'll just be a great time. I am so excited to start this. Okay, I already have a save file from a while ago, but I can just erase it. And we're gonna start completely over. Um, I'm using an emulator, which kind of sucks. Um, I have an Xbox controller to play with, so it's not going to be the best. Um, the controls might be a little bit weird, so I'll have to figure it out as I go. So what I would like to say now about the game is that I'm not going to be um, expressing myself in a way as if I've like just started playing this game. Um, I already know everything that's gonna happen, I already know what, pretty much what they're gonna say, because I've played this game so many times, um, but I just want to talk about it and express my love for it while I play. Okay. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that had made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey, a secret and personal journey. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. A friend with whom he parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place among legends. So I'm not going to be like... <sighs> if you've never played this game, I wouldn't recommend watching it, even though I could use all the views I could get. Um, I, I, it's not that I'm going to be spoiling the game, but I just, I want to talk about it, and I want to talk about what I love about it, and I can't do that without spoiling parts of the game. So if you haven't already played it and you don't want to see parts like this, um, if you don't want to hear me talking about it, then I suggest not watching it. Okay, so Link is now on his journey um, after Ocarina of Time happened. And I can't even explain the timeline, because the timeline is so crazy in the Legend of Zelda games. Um, but all you need to know is that this happened right after Ocarina of Time, and he... Navi flew away, or Navi, however you want to say it. Navi flew away, and he is now on a journey to find Navi. Hee <laughs> hee, you two fairies did great. I'm so sorry. This is gonna be bad. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Huh? This guy. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Again, I am so sorry. Pretty ocarina. Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it. I want to see. I have in my own ocarina. I got it for my birthday. It's over there. I will show you. Sometime. You can't, Tail. What would we do if you dropped it and broke it? No way, you can't touch it. Aw, oh, but sis, well, why can't I try it out too? <laughs> 
the graphics in this game... Oh my god, his eyes. The graphics in this game are so good compared to the N64. I'm just gonna say that right now. Okay, so now the Skull Kid has stolen your musical instrument that Zelda has given you, and he just rode off with your horse because he's a dick. That was really awkward, I didn't hit anything! <laughs> I don't even need to be doing this right now, okay. I'm so sorry about that, that was really awkward. Text message. Playing with a Xbox controller is really complicated. Okay, now Link is possibly on acid or on shrooms, or he just fell into this hole. And the Skull Kid is playing around with him. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. There's no point in riding a thing like that. So I did you a favor and got rid of it. Hee hee. Hee hee. Aw, boo hoo. Why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now. Do you really think you can beat me as I am now, fool? <laughs> oh, shit. This part is so sketchy. Okay, so this is a Deku scrub. Link was just turned into one. I, I'm guessing you pronounce it as Deku, um, but when I was little I used to pronounce it as a Dookie scrub. <laughs> now that's a good look for you! You'll stay here looking that way forever. <laughs> Sis! That's what you get, little bitch. That's what you get. Whoa! Whoa, Skull Kid, wait for me! I'm still here! Tail, you can't leave without me! You! If I wasn't dealing with you, I would have gotten I wouldn't have gotten separated but from my brother. Well don't just sit there, do Deku boy. I almost said do Dookie. <laughs> Deku boy, do something! Why are you looking at me like that? What is there, something stuck on my face? Bitch, you don't have a face. Will you stop staring and just open the door for me? Please, come on. A helpless little girl's asking you, so hurry up. Oh, Tail. I wonder if that child will be alright on his own. So now you are playing as the ugliest creature in the game. Or nah, maybe that'd be a Goron. Hey, wait for me. Don't leave me behind. So, um, that stuff back there. I, um, apologize, so take me with you. Okay, why is that stuff back there in red? Was that important? You 
You want to know about that skull kid who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have an idea of where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Good. So then it's settled. Now then, I'll be your partner. Or at least until we catch that skull kid. My name is Tattle, so uh, it's nice to meet you, or whatever. Now that we've got all that straightened out, can we get stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, press up and I'll tell you. Hopefully you'll manage to blah blah blah. Okay. I don't know either. I don't fucking know. Oh, <laughs> I can move. Um, so a thing about this game, I'm not going to be uh, taking my time. I'll let you know, uh, eventually the game is going to be completely timed, and you only have a certain amount of time to finish everything, which is really complicated. Um, this definitely isn't a game for someone who has no idea what they're doing with Zelda games, because it goes by very, very fast, and you have to be like on your toes at all times. So I'm not going to be explaining myself much, I'm just going to be running around, and I hope that you can follow along with me. Hey, press Z and talk to me. Ooh, I don't think I have a Z button yet. I didn't... Ooh, there it is. There you go, see? You can do it if you try. When I fly over to people, press Z. strange, but the way it looks right now sort of looks like this tree. Oh, you look like this tree. It all looks dark and gloomy, almost like it could start crying at any second now. How sad. Well, that's because it probably was crying. That there used to be a Deku scrub, but got turned into a tree. Actually, you never figure that out, but it's kind of just like a known fact in the Zelda world. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? <gasps> What's up with his face? <laughs> Hold up. I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss. And now I found you. Now don't think me rude. But I have been following you. What up with his face? Okay. That is not what his face looks like. Um, something about this emulator has messed up his face because that is not what his face looks like. For I know of a way to return you to your former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. Ugh. In exchange? All I ask is that you also get back my precious mask that that imp stole from me. What? Is it not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should be by no means a difficult task. Except, the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow, and I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. <laughs> but yes, you'll be fine. I see you're young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find the right way find it right away. Well then, I'm counting on you. Okay, he is so sketchy right now. Oh god. Um Alright, well I guess that's a good place to stop for now. Um I will pick up with part two probably tomorrow, because I have to go to dinner tonight. But um 
So the whole entire game takes place in three days. Um, I don't know, you're probably like, how is that even possible? But it does. And you have to slow down time and finish the whole game, technically in three days. Um, but I'll get into that as it happens. It's This is literally like the coolest Zelda game. Like, it is so awesome. I love this game so much. Um, right now, we are on a quest to get our ocarina back, and we have to get the Majora's Mask, obviously, for the Happy Mask Salesman. So the whole game revolves around us trying to get the Majora's Mask for this guy before the three days are up. And it's just such an interesting idea, and I'm so excited to play it, and I hope that everybody enjoys watching it. So thank you. Well, bye! <laughs>